Welcome back Pokefans to the Pokemon Opalo playthrough. In the last episode we explored Mistral City and had like a side quest with who turned out to be Giovanni. Um, he was making a movie for him to try and make people think he was a good guy. After he got uncovered we beat him in a battle and then he just jumped into a wormhole and disappeared. So now we've got to go and speak to a Hollow and Ibano at the airport which I think is down here yeah so here we go I'm glad to see you Pokex I see that you are well and you even seem stronger how is that possible well you have a lot of things to tell me but you will in due course welcome Professor Ibano it is a pleasure to have you here Hello Champion Pokex, having you here gives us all a lot of security. I am Jin Easter, Chief of the Armed Forces of Sapphire. I promise to defend your life at all costs, even if it means sacrificing mine. Um, I'm sure we can handle ourselves. I'll notify the President that you've already arrived. Wait here please. A very serious woman isn't she? She's one of the strongest trainers in the region. She could well have participated in the Pokemon League if she had wanted to and even become champion. No, because then she would have had to have beat us, which she wouldn't. The armed forces of Sapphire are in good hands, I assure you. Oh, here he is. Hello, Apollo. What did you want to show us? Hello to both of you. Thank you for coming. What we are preparing is very important and I am comforted by your presence. Although, Professor, could you try calling me President in front of these people? It's just, you know... Oh, of course, what a lack of etiquette on my part. Well, come with me into the hangar. I don't want to keep the surprise waiting any longer. Wonder what this surprise is going to be. Do you know of Obsidian Island? It is a black mass of rock near here, in the middle of the sea. It has no resources or any type of natural interest, but it is said that the natives once considered it a sacred place. In fact, they extracted a lot of rock from that site to make slabs. I guess they used Pokemon to pull off something like that without technology. What's this? Now oh, that's the actual airport. Oh, it's that mush. Ah, oh, hello again, Pokex. Here the president is safely tucked away in cotton wool, so I can take a break and relax. Although if the going gets tough, I'll go over it. Anyone's head to protect his life. My loyalty is the one who pays me, you know. I want to travel to Astral City to visit my cousin, but first I made a stop in this part of the region. See if I can run into a famous actor. Look, if you concentrate hard and strain your eyes, you can see the islands of Alola from here. You see, look closely. No way, it's just a big water Pokemon swimming on the surface. And what we got down here? See if we can surf. Oh, we got an item. A sea incense. I think that might be it though, yeah. My parents did their best to keep me from joining the armed forces, but defending this region and its people is my lifelong calling. Besides, I'm never alone. My Pokemon has always accompanied me. With them, I will overcome any obstacle that, chooses my, that crosses my path. This site used to be simply a military base many years ago, in times of war when we had to be on the lookout for attacks from Kanto. It was later converted into an airport to facilitate communication between West Sapphire and East Sapphire. Okay, so we'll just head on in. What the hell are those? Pokehax Professor, pay attention. You're going to see the first line of defense of the Pokemon world. I present them to the peacemakers. Loyal, tireless and equipped with the latest technology, these soldiers have been designed with a single purpose, to maintain peace and order. Peacemakers say hello. He has actually lost the plot. Automated soldiers, hmm. I'm not an expert on the subject, but aren't these types of weapons of war already considered very old fashioned? They have nothing to do against the power of a Pokemon. They are not weapons of war as such, Professor. We have gone much further. Bring out your Pokemon. Oh Jesus, they've all got strong Pokemon. The 
peacekeepers aren't robot soldiers, they're automatic Pokemon trainers. Using the Poke Essence as a source of energy, we have managed to create an artificial link between the Pokemon and the soldier. In this way, the soldier is able to direct his Pokemon in combat by extracting its maximum performance. Did you say artificial link? How can a Pokemon be forced to become attached to a machine? This doesn't sound very clean, President. We cannot defy the laws of nature so lightly. You better see a demo first, hand Professor. You will see that they behave like real trainers. If you don't mind Pokeax, you'll act as a test subject. Peacemaker number 23, have a Pokemon battle with a champion. Oh, what the hell? Okay then. Let's see how good these are. We'll have to swap to Gastesla. Um just trying to think. Giga Drain might be better. Electros will stay in energy ball. Oh, Magmortar. Okay, we'll go out into Ursa Ring. Take the Fire Blast. Fierce Embrace. Oh no, it's got Focus Blast. Okay, we'll go to Dugtrio. Totem of Fury. Oh, and we get a Freeze. Perfect. Up next is Duraludon. Um, we'll stay in. Totem of Fury again. Straight up KO. Um, Porygon Z. We'll go Harry Armor. Aura Sphere. That thing just straight up KO'd. What the hell is all that about? Okay, Golurk. Hammer arm. That does a lot for a resisted attack. I think it's just taking itself out. Um, go Gustesla. And Giga Drain. Oh, you've lived on a sliver. So right there, that's your last Pokemon. That was a pretty tough battle. Now you see it with your own eyes, don't you? Just one of these soldiers has been able to put a brand new champion on the ropes. Withdraw number 23. What is the meaning of this president? I know the Pokemon world is about to experience unprecedented danger, but this is inhumane and represents the complete opposite of what I believe. I'll tell you what it stands for, Professor. Order, prosperity and freedom. In short, justice. Are you against justice? What I'm seeing isn't fair to Pokemon and therefore it's not fair to the world as a whole. You have my friendship and loyalty, which is precisely why I'm warning you that this Peacemaker project is absolutely insane. He's not very happy. You'll understand, Pokeax. Professor Banner has somewhat old fashioned ideals. I have to talk to you about something very important in private. My office is there, do you see? No one will bother us in it. Um, okay, I think. We heal up, because you never know if we're going to end up in another battle. Um, we can turn XP share off for you. Need to add it on for Ursaring. Probably lead off for you as well. Thanks for coming, Pokeax. I think we need to take 
talk alone for a while to get away from the maddling, maddling crowd. Things have gotten tense. Which reminds me, by the way, that your friend Gal has escaped from the place where we were holding her for security reasons. I'm not accusing you of anything. I know that these days you've been around Santana Town and therefore you haven't had anything to do with it. I think you've let yourself be negatively influenced by very strange people who did not deserve your friendship. You just have too much of a good heart sometimes, Pokéx. I have no intention of arguing with you. We all make mistakes. Anyway, that's not what I really wanted to talk to you about. What did you think of the Peacemaker project? Do you think it's a good idea? Um, it's cruel to Pokemon. I'm aware of this, it is not the most ethical, but many people close to me have betrayed me, while the Peacekeepers will not. The project was started in secret by the previous government, which is why Mustang was so desperately looking for ways to get power. When I found out about all this, I wasn't sure what to do. But now I carry the weight of Safira's safety in future. I'll be straight with you Pokéx, I already know all about that Pokemon known as Unctena and what may happen to our world. I was able to obtain all of this information while interrogating multiple members of the Sissy Anti Clan. The professor also told me a few things. So my science team set out to investigate and, sure enough they've spotted a massive presence approaching our planet from outer space and it looks like a Pokemon. Well, there's no need to be alarmed because we prepare a line of defence that will be in charge of eliminating that Pokemon and protecting us all. You've seen the battle a single peacemaker has given you, haven't you? Now imagine an army of thousands of them fighting at once. We have the capability to manufacture them. An army deployed in all regions with a single mission to maintain order and peace. No more team gatling, no more terrorism, no more destructive threats from outer space. A world in which a human being is free to build his life project together with his Pokemon without fear of injustice. Wasn't that what we were looking for from the beginning? However, we have the problem of energy. I know you've been collecting some artifacts with an insane concentration of poke essence. I mean, those artifacts known to the natives as spirit fragments. I don't know if you're aware, but with just one of them you could power the whole of Sephora for years. Your new friends have been telling you legends of the natives, right? All that talk about the great spirit and the ritual to save the world. Well, this is what it's all about, Pokéx. Harnessing all that energy in a realistic and practical way. Magic and gods do not exist, but technology and progress do. He looks a little bit evil now. That's why I ask you to leave the spirit fragments in my hands. Let's collaborate together like we did before. You trust me, right? When we met in Solana City that day, we made a commitment to build a more prosperous Pokemon world. Well, now we can do it, it is at our fingertips. We were only missing the last piece of the puzzle, and thanks to your efforts it has come to fruition. What say you Pokéx, will you put the fragments at the disposal of the common good so that we can now deploy the shield of justice throughout the world? Um. Oh it's Ixia. Pokéx, do not give them to him. Do not give him the spirit fragments, it would be the end. Oh, he doesn't like that. So, you're not going to hand them over to me. You have always been different from others. There's also Vera, of course, but I felt I could trust you in a very special way. We've drifted apart a bit, although I'd hope that... Yeah, we, we know all about them times. You know what I think? You're a very ungrateful person. How rude. Have you forgotten where would you be if it hadn't been for me? Well, yeah. Our dad when I got sacked. Who provided you with a start Pokemon? Who made you a Pokemon League trainer? Who put you in contact with the Elite Society? If it wasn't for me, you'd still be a nobody in Breezetown and you know it. I'd punch him square in the face. Do you think you were more special than anyone for having become a champion? I could have been in your place. I can be as strong as you and even more. Prove it then. Get your team out, come on. Fight me and you will see. Professor Urbano has taught me some things. I'll show you a combat technique that you couldn't even dream of. President, I'm sorry to interrupt you but something has happened. 
We've just been notified that some members of the CC anti clan are prowling at Sydney Island with malicious intent. Very well, the peacekeepers aren't ready yet, so gather a few of your soldiers. We'll get on a plane and head to Obsidian Island right now. We're going to finish off the Sissianti clan once and for all. I would also suggest the collaboration of Professor Ebony, and also from the champion since she's here. Of course they will accompany us. I mean, what a jackass this guy is. Project Peacemaker began during the term of the previous president, although very intermittently. It has been with the arrival of President Apollo that money has begun to be invested in a serious way so that this could really move forward. They are a little bit creepy, I'm not going to lie. I don't know what the CC Anti clan has been up to on Obsidian Island, but I have a bad feeling about it. That place is nothing of value, but the natives consider it a very sacred place. We would have to proceed with caution. Caution that they should have had. Come on, get on the plane. Okay, so here we are, Obsidian Island. Explore the island and keep your eyes peeled. These individuals always attack treacherously. Okay, so let's explore. I feel like this is going to be a big area to um, have a look around. We've got a comet shard, which I think you can just sell for money. Okay, so let's go this way. What have we got here? Got PP up. And that's it. Um oh. There's a megastar. Gyarados. We need to go back. Okay, actually this is a small island. Oh, here we go. You shouldn't be here. It's no place for invaders. We'll kick you out along with the rest of the scum that came with you. Maybe this is where their base is then. Okay, swap into the lurk. Meteor mash. Can we hit a second one? No, we can't. Honestly, this move. And you've lived on a sliver. He will expel the invader from Makanawa. Now you see Unktena's eyes are on me. And this one's actually called Karen, that's quite funny. Okay, hammer off. Alright, lift. Rock smash. No, forgive me. Now start spilling the beans. What exactly are you doing here? Can't you tell? Can't you feel what's in this place? Of course you are so debased that you have lost all connection to this land. I don't have time for games. We can do this the hard way or the easy way. Very well, if you want to know so badly, you're in the place where the Great Spirit came to our world. So you're already showing more respect for this sacred land. These idices are beyond me. You know what you are doing. Take these two and lock them up separately. I'll question them carefully when we're done here. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so we carry on. I feel like there's got to be something down here. No. It's a bit weird. We haven't missed anything, have we? No. Okay, so what's going on down here? 
What is this kind of tunnel? This wasn't here before. Perhaps recent earthquakes in this area have exposed it. The geography of the island has changed quite a bit. Whatever it is, it's clearly the reason Sissian's clan has come. I'll go down first. Keep your eyes peeled, please. Well, uh, looks like we're heading down as well. Old workshop. Oh my god. What? What is this place? It seems something out of this world. Those two natives that Pokiax beat earlier, they said this is where the Great Spirit first appeared, right? If you're implying what I think you're implying, you know very well what I'm implying because you two had suspected it for a long time, Apollo. It became more apparent as we investigated all the unusual phenomena that have occurred recently. But it's too much science fiction. Excuse me, Mr. President. Professor, what exactly are you talking about? Well, the entity that the natives call Great Spirit is not a god, but an alien from a very advanced civilization that arrived on that planet millions of years ago. But then, that native legend that claims that the Great Spirit brought us the Pokemon, is there some truth in that too? Let's keep moving forward. I believe we're about to discover a chilling truth about our history. Wow, I did not see this coming. Actual aliens in a Pokemon game. So what can we find? I find it fascinating that this place is still functioning millions of years later. It seems to draw energy from the bottom of the sea in some unknown way. Um, yeah, we'll heal our Pokemon. Oh, it's like a little puzzle. This room uh, gives me headaches. Give me some action. Ooh, Quagsire. We'll use Castesla. Giga Drain. What you got next? Sneezler. Um I'm pretty sure this is Ice Steel. Vacuum Wave. No it's not. What is this fighting? Psychic flying. And I can't actually remember what else. Oh, poison. Um, okay, I might have messed this one up. Yeah, I think it's fighting and poison. No. I'm really not sure what type this is, but we'll go Dog Trio anyway. Totem Fury. There's nothing like splitting firewood with your Pokemon. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, where have we ended up? Right, this is the way that I wanted to go. Or maybe not. Because this will just shoot us all the way around again. What about this way? Nope. Oh, we got a room. Um, what does this do? A uh, pure poke essence. If I attack with all my might, the priest will be happy. I'll prove my worth. Right into Dub Trio. Oh, what's with the poison? Totem Fury. Uh, 
I'm going to get a terrible scolding. Um, more poker vial. Where does this take us? Ah, oh, we didn't want to do that. Oh, we've got full restore. Okay, so we need to try and remember where we've been. How dare you enter the domain of the Great Spirit. I'm going to crush you until your mother doesn't even recognize you. See the Anti Clan Cristobal. You have a very foul mouth. Um, hammer. Um, Yan Mega. This is bug flying in it, so. Golurk. Steam Shock. Nice and easy battle. Sorry, I had a bit of. Had a fit of aggression. Yes, you did. Okay, so let's go in here. Um, I'm not sure which way we need to go. What the hell is this place? Celestila. There's Ultra Beasts in here. Blast of Flame. We've got a Max Revive. Cartel at Ursi. Bless me. You must get all the Ultra Beasts from here then. What do you mean you did not manage to escape? Okay, just. Smash this thing up. Right, that's a little bit annoying. Harry Army, you can take it out. Vacuum wave. Now we need to use a revive. And moo moo milk. So if you follow this around, you play me fire and you're going to get burned. That's what you get for opposing the sissy anti clan. Ooh, Glaily. Your ghost flying. So fierce embrace. One more to the trick. Killjoy, my fighting fervor has been reduced to ashes. Pokeaxe, there's a door here that won't open. Maybe you can find a switch around. But be careful, I've seen two particularly malevolent looking Sissy Clan natives hanging around this area. Ooh. Adian. Wow, you have good reflexes. Will you ever attack from the front or do you only know how to do it from behind like a coward? As a Pokemon trainer you should have more respect in battle. At least you'll believe in that principle, right? Respect, that is something to be earned and you lost the right to receive it a long time ago. I will not allow you to continue to bring suffering and misfortune to both humans and Pokemon. We deserve better. We will change the world so that selfish people like your kind have no place in it. Yeah, and I guess the person leading that change will be you, right scum? Oh, burn. Let's go stop babbling and start fighting. I'll set accounts for you once and for all. Okay. So we've got another room. Oh, I absolutely hate these things. Well, there's the two Sissy Anti Clan members. A psychic gem. Oh, 
an ether. Oh. I'll fulfill the will of Mother Zydia. Now you're playing against the big boys. Hissing Priestess Aya. Okay, we'll go Flygon. Bug Buzz. Oh my god, that does so little damage. I'm not even sure if this is a physical attack or special attacker. Um, Drampa and go Harry Armor or a Sphere. Took that quite well. And then you go into Sloking. Okay, we'll go Ursa Ring. And then Fierce Embrace. It literally lives on a sliver. And then Drampa comes back out. And we hammer up. So uh, not too bad, not too bad. No, I had the truth on my side. No matter how many times you try and stop us, everyone's fight has already been written. Is that so? Let's actually have a look at Flygon. It's a mixed attacker, so it converts normal type moves to bug. That's interesting. Oh, was we supposed to step on that? I'm not sure. Oh no, the switch is next to her. What am I doing? I've literally lost the player. One of three power nodes have been activated. And then the th second one's here. You shouldn't be stepping on the ground here, you invading creature. Hissing Priest Danga, you've got a victory bell. Okay, so we'll go Golurk. Steam Shock. One hit KO, perfect. Um, Drodigon. Um, do we have a. Yeah, we do. Although we're probably going to get KO'd. The Dragon Breath. That was a critical hit. Wow, that was shocking, you bad. Okay, we'll go Dugtrio. Totem Fury. We got Burn, that's perfect. Slowbro. We'll go Ursaring. Uh, Fierce Embrace. And you miss a Fire Blast, perfect. That should be battle over, I think. No, this was not what we predicted. Right then, let's turn this one on. Um, we might as well use our last poker vial. I've got a feeling we're going to be battling. Uh, what's the name? Zalia. Oh, we can't go that way. We've got four restore. So where's the other power node? We've done them too. No, it's here. 
power has been restored to the area. So now we just gotta get our way out of here. Ah, here we go. Okay, I admit that bravery is strong. Did you have to mistreat it a lot to get it to this level? My Pokemon has been with me since childhood and trust me completely, but we are going to mistreat you. Oh yeah, you're going to go that far on our first date. I'm a married man. What is going on? Married, huh? I thought you were a widower. That means we didn't manage to take that broad down when we had the chance. Her name is Vera. He just punched her, punched him square in the face. By the great spirit, you know how to hit good shots. Oh, he's got mad. You rotten coward. Next time you won't get away from me. Ah, Pokey actually made it down. And I see you've managed to disable the security doors. Let's keep exploring this site. So can you act? No, you can't go through there. When this is all over, I'd love to come back to this place and study it thoroughly. This is all fascinating. I'd love to be able to study it in depth when we're done. Perhaps it will allow humanity to make an unprecedented technological leap. Look, these machines appear to be some kind of diaries. Diaries? What do you mean by that? For they contain messages that the builders of this laboratory left for posterity. Do you want to try Pokiax? Activate these machines and we will know the whole truth. Human beings of this world, this message is for you. We are what, in your culture, could be understood as researchers. We came from our dimension to your universe when it was still being born. Our mission was as follows. Populate the cosmos with the creatures you call Pokemon. We began the task by creating Pokemon that could withstand the harshness of that nascent universe. Arceus, Palkia, Dialga, Giratina were some of the beings we brought to life in that period. When the different celestial orbs were formed and the first planets began to appear, we were able to populate them with Pokemon of lower power, but more evolved in terms of emotions. Human beings of this world, this message is for you. For billions of years, our creative work paid off. The Pokemon flourished on different planets in the universe and fulfilled their life cycles. When the planets became uninhabitable, we evacuated the Pokemon by transferring their life essence into crystals, thus obtaining a source of energy that allowed us to repeat the cycle again on other worlds. However, not all of our creations were successful. One of the Pokemon we brought to life became unstable, absorbing and consuming everything around it. It began by devouring the planet on which it was born, and absorbing the lives of all the Pokemon that lived on it, this greatly increased its power to the point of no longer being able to control it. But its hunger did not end there, as it was attracted by the rest of the planets where it could find more Pokemon. One by one, all the worlds inhabited by Pokemon were consumed by this creature, which grew in size, strength and cruelty. This creature is named Unctena, our biggest mistake. The mistake that sooner or later will end everything that exists in this universe. Human beings of this world, this message is for you. We've been travelling many light years to get as far away as possible from Unctena. But in our escape we find a surprising planet. We have never seen a place that perfectly meets the necessary conditions for the correct development of Pokemon. We got to work and built the workshop you are in right now. For a long time we brought amazingly advanced Pokemon to life. They felt suffered and loved in very complex ways. Hundreds of millions of years passed. We still do not know how or if we had something to do with it. But another intelligent species appeared that we did not count on. Human beings, you. You are a fascinating species, endowed with a great ambition for survival and domination. However, it seems that humans and Pokemon understand each other very well, as if they are united by an instinctive bond that we do not understand. Pay attention human beings, we tell you the following. Fight against adversity together with the Pokemon, prosper and do not harm to each other, do not break this law. Human beings of this world, this message is for you. I am the Great Spirit, it has been a long time since I recorded the last message, my companions have been disappearing due to illness or natural causes. Now I am the last individual of my species, for the first time I feel the weight of time on my mind. I no longer have the strength to continue monitoring the planet, I will go to sleep. Humans and Pokemon will have to continue without my help. 
However, I leave you a valuable legacy. It is a crystal in which I have concentrated the vital energy of all the Pokemon that I have created throughout my life. This crystal contains the power to transform the world into a paradise where humans and Pokemon can live without worry. Use it wisely, do not break it, do not fight over it, keep strong the ties that bind you together. Now, now I must go to sleep. Wow, very very interesting. Look at that Pokéx. The message from this machine was recorded on May 15 last year. It's very recent compared to the previous ones. Let's see what it says. Human beings of this world, this will be my last message to you. But to receive it, the bond between you and your Pokemon must be sufficiently developed. Activating security system. Stay on guard now, Pokéx. It looks like he wants to challenge us to a match. Avatar Guardian. Oh, it's all Ultra Beasts. Um, Hammer Arm Celesteela. Since when can you get a Mega Braviary? That's something new. Well, Mega Braviary seems to be very strong. Um, okay. I feel like Dog Geo is going to be pretty useful. Guzzlord. How could. Oh, Flying. It's flying Steel. I forgot all about that. Buzzwall goes down in one hit. How much damage does that do? To be fair, he's level 88. It's literally one shot in all of these Pokemon. I'm not looking forward to battling that. Zerk's is true. I know it's electric, but I'm not sure what else. And it just gets flare blitz. Analysis completed. Is everything okay, Pokéx? It's not been an easy fight. And now what happens? It's a woman. Human beings of this world, I am what you call great spirit. I have awakened from my lethargy after feeling the intense pain that this world is suffering. You have failed as a species. Although your technological level is very unusual, you have achieved it by para parasite Izing everything around you, especially the Pokemon. You've also broken the energy crystal I gave you during one of your absurd wars. But the end of your life cycle is drawing near, for Inktenna has already found this planet. I will initiate an evacuation of all Pokemon by converting them into energy to get them to safety as I have done in the past. Do not attempt to rebuild the crystal either, as I have one of the shards in my hands. Its energy is necessary for me to leave this planet with a Pokemon when I complete the evacuation. Human beings, these are your last days. Get your affairs in order and then revert back to Stardust. Oh my god. So that's how it is. Humanity has never been free, but has lived under the secret tyranny of these beings. And now they're trying to make us take the blame for their mistake by bringing in that planet-eating Pokemon. Do you realise, Pokéx, you will never be able to complete your mission since the alien is one of the spirit fragments? You can't collect them all. His intention was to wipe us off the map from the start. But we've been underestimated. They don't know what we human beings are capable of. We'll take on Unkten with everything we've got. With an army of peacekeepers and humanity united, we will prosper. It's best if you give me the shards at once, Pokéx, and don't want to have to ask you any more times. I've already spoiled you enough. Uh-oh, what's going on? Something's happening, let's get out of here now. 
Okay, well, we're gonna end the episode there. So much has happened, but it looks like we're getting into sort of the end, I think, now. Thank you everyone for watching, and hope to see you all next time.